This is a case of an 80 plus year old lady, previously independent and in good health, who presented with headache, progressive difficulty with gait and balance due to weakness in her left arm and leg, altered mentation, and difficulty with memory retention. MRI scan of brain showed a large right frontal brain tumor with significant mass effect as well as subfalcine herniation. She was taken to the operating room for surgical resection of this tumor using computer navigation for precise localization of the tumor. After making a linear incision behind the hairline, bone flap was elevated precisely over the tumor. Duro is exposed. Tacop sutures holds the dura against the cranium minimizing epidural bleeding. Dura is opened sharply and frontal lobe of brain carefully exposed. The tumor is buried underneath the prefrontal cortex, most important part of our brain in my view. Although this part of frontal lobe is not considered eloquent cortex, as it is not responsible for language, motor, or sensory functions, I consider prefrontal lobe most important as our exceptional cognitive abilities relative to lower forms of life on Earth stems from its expansion during evolution. Essentially, this is where we are. A large draining vein is preserved to prevent venous infarction. A small linear cordycectomy using bipolar cautery takes us to the cystic gel-like content of the tumor, which is carefully suctioned away, decompressing the tumor. Sodium fluorescein microscopy reveals the tumor on the lying tissue within the cystic cavity. Samples are sent for pathological confirmation, which suggested malignant tumor. This tumor was found to be quite adherent to the brain tissue with somewhat of an indistinct border.
the border between the tumor and the brain is carefully established with mild suction and low current bipolar cautery, and the tumor is finally removed. Hydrogen peroxide solution soaked cotton balls are placed in resection cavity. Surrounding brain and its vascular supply is well preserved. Cotton ball is carefully removed. Hemostatic agent is used to cover the surgical cavity. Dura was brought together and covered with the synthetic dura. Bone flap is reapproximated. Post op MRI scan showed complete resection of the tumor with no injury to surrounding prefrontal cortex. The pathology of the tumor was metastatic lung cancer. Patient did well postoperatively, was able to walk independently, and return to normal function.